and we're having a good time we're having the good vibes here so it fucking sucks actually <laughs> that we have to talk about this topic Pididi. hi everyone bob is in the house today we have a topic to discuss pdd the reason why we're talking about this man is because this topic became viral sensational Everybody wants to talk about it, everybody wants to hear about it. So I'm here to capitalize on that <laughs> very, very much. Let your man <laughs> finally capitalize on something <laughs> the trendy that is going on in the world, okay? <laughs> Allow me for once, goddammit. <laughs> but anyway, I'm here to talk about Piediri. What else can I say that other people did not say? I try to approach my videos in that manner, but what else to say there? when I'm the one actually learning information about PDD from others. Well, I can say that back in 2000s, I used to listen to PDD. That's my personal experience. I did listen to PDD's music back in the day. And as a matter of fact, my dad actually gave me a CD, a compact disc as a gift for my birthday. <laughs> I think it was for my ninth birthday, I believe. PDD came out with a new album called Press Play back in 2006. You might ask, wait, wait, wait a second. Your dad gave you a PDD disc? At that time, <laughs> he was just a normal artist, <laughs> like anybody else. And you have all these celebrities collaborating with PDD like it's nothing. So he probably must have been a normal person, right? If people collaborated with him, used to go to his parties. I listened to his music last night featuring Keisha Cole. That was that was a bop back in 2006. That was a bop. I love that song. I mean, now I, it's hard to say I love that song, but I used to love that song, <laughs> At least, especially when I was a kid. And PZZ, he had good music, especially in the 90s. Right now, of course, kids <laughs> this age might not know him, right? He was popular in the 1990s thousands last year just last year in 2023 Pididi had a big new album called a uh, love album and he had the weekend of all people 21 savage on, in the same song in french montana on that same song and uh, another one of me something like that it was called but that song was good i mean i listened to it now knowing diddy you know what he did like it's kind of it feels bad that i feel bad for the weekend collaborating <laughs> with the pdd like uh the, these guys didn't know i mean i'm a lot of questions now right because hollywood is on fire right now pretty much because everybody's trying to like observe analyze what's going on who who collaborated with the, with the pdd who was hanging out with pdd all over these years justin bieber Usher, Jennifer Lopez was a girlfriend of this man, of this maniac, right? And and what did P did he do actually? Let's let's just summarize it pretty quickly. I I, I assume that you guys know <laughs> what he did for sure, for sure. So let's just talk a little bit on what this man did actually: federal sex trafficking, racketeering charges, uh, under eighteen years of age. So not only he's raping them, but also is transportation they they said the word transportation he can like even sell them pretty much or give to another people as a thing like it's a slave or something for sexual uh, purposes so many victims uh, came out of those things even his girlfriend cassie basically he had power to manipulate them in a way where they would be extremely doubtful yes i'm, I'm fearing this man i want to get out of this situation but I fear about the outcome and the consequences if I do this against him right now. So many people in celebrities are even silent to talk about PDD's things uh, that are resurfacing right now. Media is trying to ask other celebrities about PDD. They are silent. Justin Bieber, right, to name a few, who was a child, well, becoming a teenager at that point but i mean he's not an adult at all right and we can only imagine what things he had to go through as like he was hanging out with pdd a lot and he probably saw some of his behavior and uh, some of his mindless sex and uh justin bieber was 
I, I'm assuming he was emotionally traumatized uh, by all the industry stuff, but he kept going because he, I mean, Justin Bieber is a talented musician, guys. Justin Bieber is incredible. We used to actually kind of criticize Justin Bieber, like, oh, this Justin Bieber, he doesn't have that, you know, best personality, something is icky about him, but not really. Usher is one of the other characters of the story. I wonder actually with the celebrities, you know how you go and you meet somebody and you kind of can tell, maybe not instantly, okay, but some time passes and you kind of feel that something, something is not right about this person, you know, or something, maybe he's hiding or, or there's a facade, right? Something like you feel like kids are actually good at feeling that too. Like, the, about his energy, about his aura, right? Something is just not feeling right. He's not brutally honest, or he's not putting his heart out, actually, but this is a, more of a facade. Neither of these people, of the celebrities, for example, experienced that with PDD. They were completely fine with him going to his parties. He had parties, a lot of parties. Um, it's kind of wild to me, this story. And um, to not let PDD be arrested it's not only him who tried to like blackmail uh, his victims or celebrities not only he paid hotels and places money so that they would, would not release footage of him doing bad things but the industry themselves in the industry at the very top the people that make decisions on what we listen to on the radio or what we even like watch for example right they were in the conspiracy for the longest time and it was when it was truly hard to at this point keep keep everything under closet in the closet then okay well when everybody exposed him uh, in the social media and stuff like that and uh, cassie right of course cassie was the one who Okay, nine years she was uh, being um, punched in the face. She was harmed, physically harmed by PDD, who was uh, beating her uh, for not listening to him, for example, or for trying to leave. And she was scared to leave this man because, yeah, like he's a maniac. He was a pretty good actor. He, he behaved well in the public eyes. But um, the truth will set us free and the truth will come out sooner than later in this case it came out pretty late god damn it but <laughs> it did come out and wow is he responsible for killing notorious big the murder of notorious big is he responsible did he set him up for death i don't know but life after death was still sweet apparently for PDD because <laughs> man <laughs> like he kept living and did whatever the hell he wanted those lavish parties that all the celebrities attended he, he I think he before the Great Gatsby movie he already read the book or something <laughs> like the the way he was throwing those incredible incredibly lavish parties for all the celebrities was kind of crazy and people loved attending those parties but in, even in those parties, it seemed like there were some kinky things happening. Uh, celebrities, uh, a PDD literally locked the doors of his mansion, and then, like, <laughs> imagine it's like little kids, hey, 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 we're in the house, haunted mansion, running around. Like, I'm imagining like Beyonce, Jay Z, like running around with PDD and other celebrities, and then, like, locking the door, and then we, we can do whatever we want, and then. But because they're adults, I mean, it all ended up, of course, in like sexual orgies. And a lot of times he was making other people have sex in, in his house and he was having sex with them. And I can only wonder, I mean, I, I don't know the full list of celebrities, but I've heard some people being in those parties. I just truly wonder, like the amount of celebrities that have been there and experiencing something unusual and still be silent about it for all these years. It's it's wild. It's wild. And like I said, the sex trafficking thing, he probably had celebrity celebrities he had to whom he was selling sexually other people or landing sexually other 
person. Here you can have him to have sex with, or you can have her to have sex with. To some celebrities, probably he was giving those people because, I mean, other normal people would not afford that and would not do that. Who he is selling these people to? I'm not sure, but it must have been celebrities. He's he was always around, full of celebrities. So P Diddy is one of many puzzles that that is Hollywood, and it's just it makes me worried. Like we wanted when I say we, I say like me, and there are plenty of people who want to become famous or they see that lavish lifestyle and they think, oh, okay, well, that means well, that's what successful means, right? But we want to become those kind of people. But then when we when we see things like this and when we see that uh, actually there's not nothing lavish about that. There's all shady games, all uh, in Uzbek we say tanish <laughs> which is uh, people know people, right? The connections, right? Who you know all matters. It matters who you know. Because that's when you create um, opportunities for each other, but not for the person that might have deserved even more, but you don't know him, so you don't do that for him. But you do it for your fellow person. So that's Tanish Belish in Uzbek. But yes, guys, it's just wild. Um, to conclude this video, Bidizi is a monster and he should be in jail probably for the, uh, for the rest of his life. We will say goodbye, unfortunately, to some of his really good songs but pdd man so powerful and lustful so much that he hurt people um so please control your lust right <laughs> did that man like did not know how to just like jerk off and calm down like like normal people i don't know but um don't watch too much porn guys like it starts it starts with that uh <laughs> follow god Try to find your the one, not be engaged with uh, one man stands, eh, one man stands, one night stands, um, because all it all starts from there. Like you, then you you want more and more and more, no more partners. Like you change, you you treat people differently. You treat people like uh, objects, right? You treat people like oh, like gloves. Oh, I use this glove, change it to the next one, the next one. Uh, it all starts with that, and then PDD, I don't know how fucked up he was to that point that he started like hurting people and wanted to manipulate people. But sex, sex and lust was only one part. Of course, he with the power he he had that hunger to. Ooh, I like making people do forbidden things that they would have not done, but because of me, they are doing that now like he liked that psychopath stuff so i don't know what happened maybe he in the beginning in the 90s he was okay guy i don't know but it all escalated to that because somebody had power so please be humble know your place when i say know your place of course i'm not saying that you should stop striving for greatness i'm saying that even when you're great know how you started right so that's the mantra for this video. <laughs> that's the, that's the, what I want you to take away. Three things. PD is an asshole. Second, follow God. Third, strive for greatness, but don't be lustful. <laughs> and and, and um, um, don't utilize your power in bad ways. Utilize power in go good ways. Make our society better. That's how I'm going to end this video. Thank you so much for watching. Hit the like button, subscribe to this channel. And I'll see you guys in the next videos. Bye-bye.